Hey, guess what we just did? <laughs> Come and find out at Kind of Funny Live 3. <laughs> Buy your tickets at kindoffunny.com forward slash KFL3. You know what moms love? Food. You know what you love? Food. Why not make some food with Blue Apron, best friend? I wrote this ad. For less than $10 per person per meal, Blue Apron delivers seasonal recipes along with pre-portioned ingredients to make delicious home-cooked meals. Choose from a variety of new recipes each week or let Blue Apron's culinary team surprise you. Recipes are not repeated within a year, so you'll never get bored. What's cooking in May? Glad you asked, Patreon supporter James Hastings. Beef teriyaki stir fry with sugar snap peas and lime rice, baked sn- spinach and egg flatbread with sauteed asparagus and lemon aioli. Mmm, sounds good. Three cheese baby broccoli <laughs> with tomato and oregano dipping sauce. Mmm, um, 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 um. <laughs> Crispy salmon and roasted potato salad with pickled mustard seeds and some kind of sauce I can't pronounce. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash greggy. You will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with Blue Apron, so don't wait. That's blueapron.com slash greggy. What else are you going to eat? A shoe? But Sean destroyed it, did a great job. We did a whole bunch of courthouse photos, and then we wanted two interstitials of photos of in places important to us. So first stop, of course, was Wing Wings. Went to Wing Wings. Wing Wings not open on Mondays, as you know. Yeah. Not open on Tuesdays, but that doesn't matter for the story. Not open on Mondays. Christian, the owner, the homie, family. The homie. Uh, I, d- I put up a whole Instagram sappy post about how much Wing Wings means to me. It is a home away from home here in San Francisco. And he opened it for us. It was just him. He cooked for us. We took a whole bunch of photos with us, did all stuff, showed my dad around, you know, gr- number one crane operator, Greg Miller, had a bunch of questions about running a business, showing mom around, giving us all this free beer and stuff. We didn't give any, any money, I realized, yeah. after the fact. I do gave everybody t-shirts, did all this stuff. Christian's fucking awesome. If you're going to Kind of Funny Live 3, go in and see him. Not just because, as always, I've said Wing Wings is great, but they are family, and they were amazing. The photos there are my favorite ones from the wedding. Just... They're so good. So us, you know what I mean? So good. And that we're was our, so relaxed too, because we just came back from the wedding. Yeah, everything's so done, super right? Chill. And that was the thing is, I never thought about it when we were setting it up that it was like, all right, cool. Now it's our reception, and this is appetizers. And I never really, it never dawned on me that's what we were doing until we were there drinking out of the like the. We had we poured beers, uh, Dale's Pale Ale and the Los Gigantes into these like fine crystal engraved <laughs> things. My mom got us, and she was totally down with it. Or that's whatever. awesome. I love the the chicken wing sauce <laughs> on the boobs. Yeah. Nice Classy move. But that, Classy you know, that's that's where we went on our third date. It's one of those, like, obviously means so much to me, but that's something that I think means something to Jen in our relationship and the fact that, if, that I shared that so early with her, of, like, what that place means to me. And I'll never forget taking her the first time she was drunk. It's like, I want wing wings. We're with some friends. We went there. And, and she's like, what do you get here? I'm like, I usually get buffalo regular, and I toss garlic on there, and I toss bacon on there if I'm feeling crazy, and I'm feeling crazy tonight. But it might be too hot for you. Don't do that. And she's like, no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We ordered that, sat down. Again, I'm drunk, so I just crush my wings, and I finally look over, and she's got, like, one done and one shaking with a bite out of it. I'm like, is it too hot for you? She's like, I'm fine. And I'm like, we can get you anything. There are, I know these people. We can get you yeah. different. She's like, wash them off. No, I'm going to finish them. I didn't want to waste any food, so I, I ate all of them. And she was, it was, you had the fiery poops afterwards, yeah. and you were, you were definitely too hot for that. The yeah. shower and then the thimble. The yeah, exactly. Thimble. The shower and the thimble. <laughs> So it was cool to do that, have that, but then there was a moment where, like, (laughs) I'm being a dick. Again, back to shouting out Sean Finnegan, how great he is, the shark. In the way that you know how I am, you know how I am, everybody knows how I am. This had been a secret killing me. The number of tweets I deleted leading up to it of, like, kind of teasing something, but then, like, no, I don't want to do that. That's not what it's about, obviously. But I'm so excited. I want to express that. I want to express to all my best friends. Like, I was, like, I need... I, when we were starting to take photos, I was like, can you start taking some with my iPhone too? Sean had two cameras. Take some with my iPhone. I want to put something up today saying that we did this, that we had this life a moment. And Sean's like, well, with this camera, I can just, you know, it becomes a hotspot and I can send them to my phones and I can edit them on here. And give, I'm like, oh my God, that'd be fucking awesome. He's like, I'll do it in the car on our way to Wing Wings. It doesn't work. The app fucking shits the bed. Nothing's working. You know what I mean? And so we get there. Like Sean's setting up to take photos there. And it was like, 
can I just try one more time? Can I try? You know, I, you know, I'm like, I know it's not you. Let's try to make the camera still didn't work. And I'm like, fuck. He's like, sorry, man, I should have brought a laptop unless you have a computer. I'm like, I don't, but Wing Wings does. And I'm like, hey, Christian, can we use your computer? He's like, yeah, of course. And he went back there and Sean popped out the card and did it and went through and showed us photos. And we pick selects and da, 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 And then he put them on his phone. He's editing them. Blah. And then I was like, eventually I was like, awesome. I know I just made you do that, but can you stop doing that and start taking more photos here? Because it, it finally dawned on me of like, I'm in my happy place in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. I have my parents here who are never together. I have my best friend here. I have her family here from Montreal. Like, this is cr and like everyone's talking to each other. Like to see my dad talk to Christian about what it's like to run. A, I was like, what the so fuck weird is going on? Of worlds. Right? Yeah. yeah like yeah, this yeah. is this is never something I thought would be a thing. You know what I mean? And Sean took amazing photos of that, and it was like, this awesome moment for us, for me. You know what I mean? All these different things. And then we went. From there to hard water, mm. bar, another place in the Embarcadero we talk about all the time or whatever, that Colin lost favor with when they switched over to being seafood, that I, I love them more that they're more seafood. Mm -hmm. They still have awesome fried chicken, too. And they put more of their southern dishes yeah. back on there. I digress. We walk in, though. It was our, That's where we went on our first date. They reserved the bar for us. They reserved our stools where we had our first date. So we got to sit at those stools and be with our surrounded by our family. And they gave us free bourbon. They were so great. They were awesome. They made us awesome cocktails. That's awesome. They, like, as soon as we got there, a guy came up to me and was like, hey, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, thanks so much. And then they were like, Deshaun, like, you want to come behind the counter and take photos? And like, you know, all this different stuff that normally doesn't get to happen. And so that was just fun. What was... I knew that'd be great, and I knew Wing Wings would be great, and I knew City Hall would be great. And then dinner's over at Water Bar next to Epic Steakhouse. Um, the one thing I didn't ever plan out in my head thinking about how amazing this would be and, like, what a special moment this would be and what, like, literally once-in-a-lifetime moment this would be was that when we finished in hard water, we were going to – we said goodbye to Sean because it's time for him to go home. He gets to – he can knock off. You know what I mean? Yeah, he doesn't yeah. take photos of everything. And the water bar is close enough where I turned everyone. I'm like, is everybody down to walk? Like, it's mm -hmm. like a 10 minute walk. It's not that Beautiful, bad. Man. Down the Embarcadero. Down. It's like getting close to sunset. It's a beautiful sunny day out. It's super hot this week. It's been, you know what I mean? It's beautiful out. And everyone's like, yeah. And so we just had this train of people walking led by Jen and myself or Jen and her family and me in my suit, her and her wedding dress and her and her bouquet. And I, for a while, I'd be behind her with Poe or my mom or whatever, and then be with her or whatever. But the, if this is on Bar Embarcadero, if you're not familiar with San Francisco, like, a touristy stretch along the bay, an amazing view of the Bay Bridge and all this stuff. And the cars that would slow down and honk and scream congratulations, the people that would stop and say hi and congratulations and keep going. It was like such an amazing moment, let alone to be walking behind Jen and see people like do the double take and walk and stop and like, oh, and like talk to each other, not to mm -hmm. us even. It was just like, what a fucking awesome thing for us to do and like yeah. have this moment and like got thank god you wore the converse you bought your first pair of converse yeah, high I tops that. i saw I, I didn't catch that until i think uh the the last picture i saw of you guys where you were well, i guess you were all cuddling all, all the pictures but yeah i saw those the the, the converse peeking out when you're on the stairs i think and i was it like it was that's such a great idea clutch yeah yeah, yeah that's and smart. they they had those amazing pink mesh ones that kind of looked like a dress fabric mm -hmm. it was great yeah mm -mm -mm. yeah went to a water bar had a lovely dinner. Mm -hmm. Got a whole bunch of oysters. Too many oysters. Mm -hmm. As you do. As you yeah. Do. I had to talk Jen out of getting. Jack. Yeah, they were. Mm -hmm. I had to talk Jen out of getting the giant seafood platter for herself. I wanted it so bad. She went and got a petite one instead. Which I didn't finish. Yeah. So, Did so I was right. Good call. Strong call. Good call. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That would have exactly. just been a waste of money. Yeah. yeah. At that point. You could have mm -hmm. just thrown it back into the sea. Huh? At that point. <laughs> you guys have been talking about this wedding for so long. Yeah. And like there's been so much just updates and will happen, won't happen in terms yeah. of logistics. What, when is it going of, to yeah, happen? Exactly. That's a big thing. So I've always just been like, oh, cool, it's happening. It's happening. Like to me, it's been happening since like November. Yeah. Right. So it's just like, you kept talking about your plans and yeah. you're just like, yeah, yeah so we're going to do this, then we're going to do this, we're going to do this, but it hits the point where it's like, it kind of just goes over my head yeah. where you're just talking and I'm like, cool, it's going to happen. I know it's this weekend. Cool. Sunday comes along and I text like, congrats to you guys. I'm excited for you, whatever totally thinking you're getting married on Sunday. <laughs> and then on Monday, uh, you start posting all the things. I'm like, huh, man. Cause on Monday, Bernie was here yeah. and I was like, I gave you the text of like, Hey, like Bernie's going to be here. We're going to do the show without you. Don't worry. It's all good. Totally kind of giving you the, like the bait of like, if you want to come in and do it, you, yeah, you yeah, could. Yeah. Cause like, I thought that was just, you're just taking the day off. Sure. It's like a, like a, not a honeymoon, but like a, a Monday. Chill moon out. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, Which we did not do and needed to drastically we turned out. packed boxes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but it was just so funny because I was like, I was so off about the whole thing. And then and now it's done. Well, now I mean, that's the married. thing is the whole thing has been so incremental that I think it the, it really snuck up. Because it was that thing of, I, I remember when we finally were like, all right, cool. It's going to be this weekend. It's going to be May 1st. We'll have the family in, da, da, and putting that on the calendar. And then like, yeah, is that, I, I think, you know. Life moves so much quicker as you get older, I feel. And that's, you know, I remember my parents always saying that it's going to go faster and faster and faster. And the thing, especially with us, I find about how fast our life goes, where you go, oh, remember that we did the podcast where I was like, well, remember in February, this comes out, you guys are like, it's March, like it's gone. That's it's the fact that for us, we're so event based that there's always an event before the next event and there's always an event after the next event. Mm -hmm. So it's like, sure. Kind of Funny Live 3 now is right on top of it, but I have a work trip next week and a work trip after that, and then it's Kind of Funny Live, and then it's E3, and then it's Comic Con, and then it's Vid, you know what I mean? Like, there's all these different little things that get Kevin's in the way. Kevin's party's in there, too. Somewhere in there, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Kip Dog. Uh, oh, that email's going out real soon, Kev. Real <laughs> soon. Tim's it, already seen the preview video for it. There's a video? There's a trailer. It's great. <laughs> Wait, there's a trailer for what? For your bachelor, bachelor party. party. Oh, my what? God. It's fucking good. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. But it's that thing of, like, you, Good feedback, I, I always make the joke of right that like you, I we get to I get to look a day in advance. So when somebody hits me, I'm like, hey, what about next? I'm like, I don't know. I can't I, I can't give that brain capacity. That right drives now. people crazy. Exactly, because other people aren't like they that. They don't like that. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. just like, oh my god, Gia's gotten used to it. But like when we have to plan things with her friends or even my friends, oh, it's a disaster. Because yeah. you're telling me Tim doesn't know what he's doing in two weeks, so you, you he can't tell me if he's. I'm like, I can't tell you. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like I can tell you what I'm doing tomorrow. Yeah. And like there'll be so many times we're traveling, and it's like you you mean you can't tell me what hotel you guys are staying at? I'm like, I have no idea what I know there is a hotel. Yeah. That was a story. There was a roof. Yeah, that was a story of my life trying to plan family and friends to acti activities because my job was also super event driven. So I'm happy we know yeah. that life pace and structure. Like yeah. I know you're not gonna know what you're gonna do in two weeks. And right. I'm well, gonna get back in there eventually. Well, that was why as this well. thing was such a weird wrench in the works of like, all right, cool. Like, okay, we got down to like it's gonna be a month turnaround time in these letters from the government. Okay, fine. And then when we, that got that got approved and it got passed off, then you have to do this interview. I was like, okay, well, how do we schedule an interview? You figure out how to schedule the interview where Jen's gotta go to the consulate in Montreal, the American embassy, and talk to somebody there. And she does that, but she preps for it for weeks. And I has, have binders. She's these giant binders of every <laughs> factoid about me, every factoid about a relationship. She's got plane tickets. She's got birth certificates. She's got everything, everything, everything. And I'm like, this is awesome. I bet you're over preparing for this. She's like, I, well, we got to do it. Just, I'm like, I understand. And so she goes in there. And when you go in there, they take your passport. They, they take your passport. And if you're approved, they'll send it back with a visa in it. When you get the visa, you have 90 days to come to the United States on a one-way ticket get married in those 90 days and then file for adjustment of status of becoming a legal resident. Right now, Jen's here. She cannot go home. There's well, I can, but I can't come back here. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it was that you couldn't go home period without us filing for early parole is what they call it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can leave. Yeah. It's coming back. That's the problem. Okay. Okay. Because my where visa early parole comes in? was worth. Yeah. Because okay. my visa w is good for only one entry. Okay. 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 So once I spend that entry, I can come back on the visitor visa, but we have to start all over again. And that's the thing where there's all these red tape and all these different rules. And, all this, and she goes in to get the interview to ask her one question. What was the question? How'd you guys meet? And then I'm like, oh, this is such a cool it's like, story. Well, Wait, let me go we... to the future. I'll show you this, this podcast. Video. And then she goes like, oh, I start getting excited and getting into the story. And she's like, all right, all right, all right it's fine. You go. It's okay. Like and then it was like, notes. all right, you'll get your passport back in what? It was like 10, seven to 10 business days or something. Yeah. And then I look at her and I'm like, so it's approved. And she's like, you're going to get your passport in seven to 10 days. And I'm like, so you're saying that I'm good. And she's like, you'll get your passport back. And I'm like, oh, why won't you tell me if it's fine or not? And so I waited seven to ten days. Because she probably doesn't Wasn't know. it one day? <laughs> it took four days. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But you could track it online, yeah. which I, I refreshed they like they a lied. crazy person. God, America. God bless. God bless our bureaucracies. Honestly, though, the thing I really enjoyed about this entire immigration process is how you can track and file stuff online. That's, that's Canada, actually awesome. It's all paper-based. Well, no, wait wait until you have to talk to the IRS. That's always fun. I'm so excited to go to the DMV, you guys. Oh, God, don't be. People spend days there, seen, like Disneyland. You have not seen yeah, like real America <laughs> until you've spent an entire afternoon in the DMV. I mean, I'm taking this with an open heart. You know, I, I people go there. Wait, do you have to excited? get a driver's license here? Is yes. that what you're doing? <laughs> wait a minute, I can't remind you for this one. Because it's the worst. Actually, uh, 
they've gotten better about it. Mm. But you bring some something to read for sure. Okay. And depending on when you go and depending on which DMV you go to, like I would do some research and be okay. like, which one is the least popular DMV? Because I had to go to that DMV one time, the one over in uh, Hayes. Yeah. Uh, oh, and no. it took a very, very long oh, time. Oh no. Yeah, I had to get my license renewed. I think I got my I think I got my motorcycle license there and my license renewed at the same mm. time. And it was but I'm one of those weird people. And I'll admit this, I enjoy getting someplace, being on time, and waiting. Like, I'll be like, how long? Two hours? No problem. I can do three right now if I have to. I will just sit with a book. I'm a back! <laughs> um, you yeah. would be so good in the Canadian healthcare system. You would wait like eight hours in the ER. Oh, I'd be great because I never go to, I don't even go to the doctor. But they never tell the you how long it's going to take. Oh, welcome to take. America. Oh, yeah. Oh, you go to the ER in America, they'll be like this. Uh, yeah, we'll get to you at some point. And also, you're not getting out of here for less than $500. Oh, wow. Absolutely not. It's not happening. I wanted to get a bike. Yeah. I won't. A bicycle? Yeah. Wait till, wait, yeah, wait till you have health Because I'm so her, accident prone that if I do get a bicycle, I'm going to hurt myself and or die. We have relatively good health care now. But, okay. Yeah, but like it's still emergency room visits are always. Mm. Like I think I went to the urgent oh, care when I got my finger smashed. And I went to a fancy urgent care in my neighborhood. What? My Dude, wife was uh, like, you should definitely go to the urgent care. Your hand looks to my, my, my fucking thumb was like twice the size uh, it was supposed to be. And uh, I was like, I think it's fine. And she's like, yeah, just cook an x-ray on it. The x-ray itself was $300. Oh, God. And then the visit was $300, something like that. And I was like, never again. You I was like, how up, dare man. you? I feel like cool Greg and Kevin could give you Yeah, I get you an x-ray for $75. 65 yeah. if you go on the right day. I mean, I, I don't believe you. I should have called Kevin. Like mm. Kevin, can you sneak me into whatever hospital oh they have hookups? So like Best Buy and hospitals. It's just it's just in like a business building. It doesn't even look like a. It's not a hospital. Well, the thing is, I thought my insurance would cover some of this, but it did not. Mm. Oh, I guess bullshit. you have to be careful. I think I'm go. covered by my Canadian healthcare for the next 170 days. Oh, you're fine then. Because there's only if you're outside of the country, you lose access to healthcare after six months outside of the country. Makes sense. So you're it's not been taxes. two weeks. It must not Clock's ticking. <laughs> uh, clock don't die. is ticking. Uh, not pull. Yeah, don't, don't, uh, I was going to make a bad joke about pulling the goalie. I'll just go into it. Don't pull the goalie anytime soon. Pull the goalie. He's saying don't go off birth control and try to get Oh, pregnant. okay. Oh, I don't didn't get it either, either. But yeah, uh -huh. yeah, don't do that. Yeah, no. I've been grinding up a second dose of birth control. <laughs> putting it in her drinks. <laughs> like, how, are you, how are you feeling? You feeling okay? Feeling all right? Still, oh, what's Marty doing? Put it inside her bagel. <laughs> My boobs have been getting bigger this way. Is it's that with birth control? I don't know. Uh, I thought it's the other wing sauce. I think it clears up your skin. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, semen. No, no, that's good protein. That's what, oh, you put, that's what you have to start putting in our morning shakes. Oh. Jesus Christ. A little squid at you that nope, in the morning. Nope, and nope, some nope. raspberries and some strawberries. No, 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 let's move on. Build some triceps that way, you know what I mean? I didn't get these things by not sucking dick. If you didn't know. If you didn't know, this has been the Game Over Greggy Show. Each and every week, four, sometimes five best friends gather on this table. Oh, God, it God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was so you ready. were ready, but like too ready. Like, <laughs> it was like, wait. <laughs> if you like that, head over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny, where you can toss us a couple of bucks and get each and every episode early, along with a bunch of exclusives, goods, perks. perks. And goodies. goodies. I got the go exclusive goods is what I said. <laughs> Didn't make much sense. Uh, remember, Kind of Funny Live 3 is right around the corner. Kindoffunny.com slash KFL3. Get your tickets. Come. I assure you it will be worth the dollars you spend on it. Remember, if you spend no dollars on Patreon, no big deal. You can head over to YouTube.com slash Kindoffunny where we put the show up topic to by topic, day by day, until it goes up as one big MP3 and video. jean vive saint Ange Miller. Not hyphenated. Middle name. Thank you for coming by. No problem. I love you. I love you too. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you. I love you, Nick. Thanks for watching this episode of Game Over Greggy. Sorry it was all about me and Jen. Subscribe here. Support us on Patreon there. Go watch other videos over here. And then there's always this mystery link that I forget what it does. What does it do? I don't know. Click on the mystery link. Where is it going to take you? Oh, games. Kind of Go to Kind of Funny Games. That's a good channel too. Subscribe to that.